Hey guys, Backwoods here. Today we're going to give you a real quick video on how to camo anything. Uh, today we're working on our uh, 2010 Yamaha Rhino. We had the uh, real tree camo on it. Uh, sun's killed it. Uh, so we're going to redo it. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a Rust-Oleum camouflage paint. Walmart, $3.27. Okay? Get, you can do four colors. Three colors is fine. Uh, if you're going to do three colors, you need the olive drab, the, uh, the tan, and the flat black. Here we have a, uh, another lighter color of green too. We're going to put four colors on this one. Uh, it'll make it even more 3D. So we're going to take these guys and make a really cool 3D uh, looking uh, camo pattern on this Yamaha. And I'm going to show you a part we already did over here. Next well, I don't clip. know if we'll actually get to do this for you today because it looks like it's starting to rain a little bit. But you can see the 3D pattern that we've started on this part of the uh, the hood and fenders of the Rhino. And uh, the major trick to this is, is, is having light in it. Um, if you don't have the light colors, you can't get the contrast to dark colors. Um, it's just impossible. Um, so that's why you really need that, that tan. You see here on this side, we've actually put down a base coat of tan and we put down a base coat of black up here uh, in a general large pattern. Then we'll come in and fill this in. I'll show you how to do it. We may have to move the rhino inside though because it's uh, starting to sprinkle rain out here. And I want to get this video up for you guys as uh, soon as okay, possible. Okay, to get this started, you're going to need some natural material for your pattern. Here we got uh, just a dry leaf from a large palm tree. And then uh, this one's pretty cool. This one's from a queen palm, and uh, it, it gives a really grassy effect. And we'll we'll show you how to use those. Okay, as you'll notice, we've taped off the headlights, the things we don't want to get painted. And uh, here we're going to bring in the uh, the lighter, the lighter of the green. And we're still laying down our base pattern. Uh, you see, we got a little black, we got some tan, and now we're going to lay down just some green, and a, and it's a random pattern basically just wanting to get that uh, background color there. So we don't want to get too crazy with this one. Um, and you know, it doesn't really matter what the pattern is. Um, it's one of those random, you just, and you don't, you don't have to have sharp edges on it, uh, anything like that. Just lay it down. And then uh, we're gonna come back with the uh, olive. You know, keep your can shaking real well. These are brand new, I just got them, so we're going to go ahead and fog in that headlight area there with the olive. Not really uh, getting too crazy about masking anything off. Just want to get a good base coat down underneath. Uh, and this is your, like your first step, just the base coats. And it doesn't have to be 100% coverage either. Um, just just get it down there. Just get it on. Cover, you know, obviously if this is a whiter, uh, another color vehicle, you have to cover a little better. But in this case, it's already camo under there, underneath. So we'll let that dry and we'll go to the next step. All right, we're moving on to the next step now. We got our uh, we got our weeds here. We'll uh, get some of this debris off. Not that it really matters. We're doing a camo job. It's not going to be. Uh, it's not a car finish. It should look natural. Um, in this case, we're gonna we're gonna pick up uh, olive drab. All right, make sure that's uh, sticking up real good. And I guess the. Really, the main rule of this is you want to put a dark color on light color and a light color on dark color. So in this case, we're working on this first area here, this tan. So we're going to come back with all the drab. And uh, the more broken up these things are and twisted and turning around, the better. And we're just going to, uh, we're not going to try to cover it completely. We're just going to mist it. And we're going to hold that spray can back. Um, we're going to go right on into the black there. We're going to hold that spray can about 10 to 12 inches away. And when you pull that back, you see what happens. Uh, it's just like a stencil. So now already we've got the 
the grass blades contrasting with the background. Okay, next up we're going to do, we're going to put in some a uh, little bit larger patterns in here. You know, this is like a, just out of my palm tree out of the front yard there. Kind of looks like a palm frond, uh, palmetto frond, whatever. Just going to lay it on there and this time we're going to give it a little black. We really want this, we want this pattern to kind of pop. And we're just going to kind of spray up the, up the fronds of it like that. So it's going to leave, obviously, dark places in between. And we can do them in different directions. Okay, so we have a little bit of bigger pattern in there. Adjust the camera a little bit here. We'll do it up here in this area. And you'll see that larger pattern emerge. You want to go easy on that flat black because you'll you'll in uh, time you'll end up being too dark so we're gonna come back with a little olive drab we're gonna put a few more little patterns in here on some of these areas um, around the headlight and just giving it breaking it you know just breaking it up basically um, and you can go wild with this I mean uh, it's very hard to screw it up. Now over here where we have the light green, we're just going to come back with olive drab. Again, a darker color on a lighter color is going to leave behind um, the pattern of the lighter color underneath. So you need to get that light to dark contrast. We're going to go right up into that, that tan there. Now over here on the side that was olive drab to begin with, we're going to use the tan. And we're going to hold that way back and we're just going to mist it over the top of it. And that's going to create shadows and light behind our pattern. And leave the dark. So we'll get some of the large patterns in first. Nice. All right, what I'm doing now, I'm just continuing the, the with the uh, smaller pattern, um, bringing that light back out. Uh, again, we don't want to get too dark with it. And you just kind of move it around and, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, sometimes just one little squirt. If you see a little area looks too dark, come back with the tan and, and dust it. That looks pretty good. So we'll get ready now to bring out that. Uh, actually, we need a little bit up here on this black. A little too dark there. We'll hit that with some black or the tan there and lighten it up. And uh, we'll come back now and start putting in the deep colors that'll really bring out the 3D. Okay, what I'm going to do now is start breaking it up. And I'm going to use, I'm going to try to press this down pretty tight to the surface and I'm just going to start with just some basic little spots here and there uh, to add some depth to it just uh, kind of random size and shaped areas that are going to be part of the background of this whole pattern I'm just going to mix them in here and there um, wherever, it's not critical where they are. Really, you just want them spread out. And that adds your um, darkness in that background. That's going to make your lights pop. Right here in the fender, we'll probably fade up from the bottom of the fender. That'll also create another pattern. If you got any areas that are missing patterns, this is time to come back with your black. So that's looking pretty good. We got one area over here that doesn't have a pattern on it, so we'll just spray that real quick. That okay, looks well, this pretty is pretty good. much the finished product here. Um, we want to take that, uh, you know, we're here in Florida, so we got a lot of greens. 
We're probably going to go back over some of the other areas before we got that. There's a new color for uh, Rust-Oleum there, that, that lighter green. And uh, I think it's, it's really great for here in Florida. Um, still drying a little bit, but you can see it's really uh, matte. And it does have that 3D effect. Um, so real quickie, uh, we'll we'll peel the uh, we'll peel the tape off the CCOM here, and I'll show you how that turned out. Well, as you can see, um, it's turned out really good. I did this, uh, painted this from uh, um, cutting and stenciling with uh, blue tape and a printout of the uh, the shield. Um, we'll show you that in another video, but. The Rhino is starting to look really awesome. So as you can see, we pretty much uh, camo the whole rhino here. Uh, you can do this to anything, your weapons, uh, guns, boats, uh, vehicles, uh, gear, anything. Well, uh, just a couple of $3.27 cans of uh, good old Rust-Oleum camo. It's starting to rain on this now, so we're going to move it in. But this is Backwoods, and I'll see you next time.